Anyways, when I can't go fishing, I've been thinking about fishing. And lionfish have become quite the problem around here. So I want to make some lionfish little cages for when I go diving. I can actually go after them specifically. Um, I did not want to spend the hundred or so dollars to buy the PVC pipe. Official lionfish, <clears throat> the official lionfish version for a hundred dollars. Um, I went to Walmart, went to Home Depot, bought some supplies, made mine for my smaller one. I made for about 15 bucks. So let me show you it first. Bam. Water jug, water cooler jug. All right, I got it seven, for seven dollars. Got this one at Walmart. It's okay quality. It's not the thickest one I've ever seen before, but it'll work for this. Um, I found them in the aisle with like the light bulbs and the water filters and stuff. I it actually I went to two different WalMarts because they were at the first Walmart, but no Walmart employee knew where they were. Kind of the problem there. Anyways, this one I just took a PVC pipe and I cut out little notches. So these zip ties won't move, real thick zip ties. Right here I put a twisty tie, so it'll hold my pole spear in place. I'm gonna slide it right in there, cinch that down tight, it won't be able to go anywhere to my ascent or descent. This funnel was $2, all right? I just cut the gaps in there, so anything can go in, it can't come back out. Um, I did zip ties, so it's just eight zip ties holding in place for whenever I come up, hopefully with this thing packed to the gills with Lionfish, I'm just gonna cut the zip ties off and just shake it, knock them all out, then replace the zip ties. This seemed like the best way to do it. I've seen a lot of people do it the opposite way where they cut off this end. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. This way I can let all that air and water come and go through here and through here. Otherwise, everyone was cut, drill a whole bunch of holes for the water to drain out. And that really just exposes yourself to more of the little quills sticking out here. So that didn't make a whole lot of sense but I could be missing something, I don't know. Uh, I added this stainless steel little D-ring here. That's just for random. You could hook it onto yourself if you wanted to, otherwise you can hook it onto your anchor rope, let it slide down your anchor. Um, the only thing I'm gonna do differently that's not on here is I'm gonna zip tie about a four pound dive lead to it. That way I can set it down the bottom, theory being that it'll weigh enough, it's awkward enough shape, it won't be able to roll away. So you don't have to drag it around with you constantly. That's the theory. This is my small one. Here's the big one, all right? Twice the, uh, the room here. <laughs> this is two of them. I cut off the bottom of this jug, cut off the top of this jug. Left this overlapping space, kind of shoved them together. Um, I didn't have to melt the inside jug right here to get it to fit better against there. I just kind of took a heat gun, melted it, shoved it up tight. For all these holes where the rivets are, I just took my soldering iron and I just stabbed it carefully. I riveted it in place. The rivets are stainless steel. I'm hoping they'll last. Um, longer PVC pipe here. I did the same thing with the twist tie. The only thing that made this one more expensive is I have all these stainless steel bolts. All right, That's the only thing that's going to make it more expensive. Um, I did soak them in Loctite whenever I put them on so they should stay in place. So same thing. Pretty simple setup. Um, I have two D-rings here. Only thing that made this thing cost more than $20 was all the stainless steel hardware. And that's really up to you. I just want the simplest ascent and descent possible. So I'm gonna have my pole spear in here. I can attach this to me. I can attach it to my anchor rope. Anything I want, all right? And that's just because dragging something this size around on the bottom is not gonna be easy. I know that ahead of time. So I'm just trying to plan ahead and I want to be able to set it down when I want, chase a fish down, come back and shove it in here. So if I'm missing anything, let me know. Um, I just kind of got this, this design and everything from other YouTubers. Um, I hope this helps somebody out. So we can uh, work together and kill as many of these lionfish as we can. Good luck.